Yes, at your command. Going to fight me? The enemy general has been defeated! We've won! Taste the strength of my army. Victory! I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. Cao Cao deals Sun Quan's Wu army a crushing blow. Sun Quan surrenders, thus bringing Wu under the rule of the Wei Empire. Meanwhile, while Cao Cao is distracted by his desperate struggle with Sun Quan, the head commander of the Shu army disappears from Pai Cheng. Several months later, Cao Cao receives an urgent message in Wu where he is garrisoned. It seems that Liu Bei has somehow managed to raise troops in his former stronghold of Zhu. Let the meeting begin. Everyone lay out your ideas. The people are hungry. Liu Bei's struggles bring famine to the land. Tell his soldiers, they'll see the connection and lay down their arms. The people of our territory have presented us with a great many provisions for us to create a grand new world for them. So we must humbly take these gifts from them. <laughs> Heaven forbid that His Majesty should fall on the battlefield and all would be lost to assure his safety. We should choose the best men from our army and establish a bodyguard unit for him. My lord, tell us your wishes. I've made up my mind. We will be victorious. Yes, yes. sir! I have tried to persuade Liu Bei's men to stop fighting. Now it looks as if... Some of them have finally laid down their arms.
Having conquered Wu, Cao Cao heads north with his army, intending to defeat Liu Bei once and for all. Meanwhile, Liu Bei is advancing on Zhu Cheng, gathering forces sympathetic to his cause as he goes. The two great rivals, Cao Cao and Liu Bei, finally meet face to face on the outskirts of Zhu Cheng. Tell me that Diao Chan's still alive? Oh, she's alive and kicking. But I'm much more upset with that stubborn Cow Cow. Actually, you're fighting against Cow Cow. Why don't we join forces? What's that? I don't know what you're up to, but I respect Liu Bei's character. So I'm fighting to make his dream a reality. I will not join with anyone who is against that. So I'm afraid I must say no to you. And that is my final decision. You're a loser! All of you! A bunch of losers! Forgive me. Even if Liu Bei is in fact my brother, I have to fight him. As heaven cannot have two sons, so earth cannot have two kings. I understand. But Liu Bei will not die. You must believe this. I'm sure that if I were your mother, I know I could find a different... Jiao Chan. Our time together was short, but wondrous. Your Majesty. I will tell you where the Imperial Seal is now. There is. No longer any need. I will destroy you and take back Diao Chan. You're nothing but a pawn to the Mandate of Heaven. In the past, I took my strength from the Mandate of Heaven. But now, I will start a new world on my own. I will not allow it. Liu Bei! Stop it! Diao Chan, don't despair! Liu Bei! You will not conquer this land. The people will never follow you. The hearts of the people always follow the new monarch. That's the divine principle. Cow Cow, tomorrow morning in fair battle, you and I will fight to the death. You make me laugh. Flee while you can. You should flee. Commence the war council. Report on your situation. Our scouts have reported. The enemy seems to take this position. Unfortunately, we have not found the storehouse. In this battle, victory depends on our getting Liu Bei and all his forces to flee. If it turns out that our majesty must flee, then we have lost. State your strategies. Your Majesty, please take this position for the last battle. Please, give us the signal to start.
Let's use this strategy. Battle! Yes, yes sir! sir. Say it from my heart. I hate war. But I must fight to make a peaceful world. You must understand. My dear brother, you've done well in fighting this far. But it is I who will take control of these troubled times. I alone will win this battle. And after I win, I will fashion a new world with my own hands! 